everyone. I, today I wanted to do a book haul. So it's been a while since I got a, I did a book haul and I kind of clump them, clump up all the books that I've got within um, a few, just a few, a few months. Um, I've been doing a lot of audiobooks, so can't really show you the books, but here are the, uh, here are the books that I got, uh, physical copies. Almost all of them are signed and, um, got a couple of uh, uh, nice classics also. So I'm very excited about that. So here we go. So the first one I actually just got is In a Holidays by uh, Christina Lauren. This is a contemporary romance and it is um, about a girl named Maylene Jones. And she, every year at Christmas she goes uh, to a cabin uh, with some family friends, and uh, she kind of likes one of the boys from one of the other families, uh, and she makes a wrong decision, and she ends up in this kind of like Groundhog Day situation um, up until Christmas. So it's kind of like a Christmas story mixed with Groundhog Day, which is uh, pretty funny, uh, and she kind of has to go find her happiness. So this one was a really cute book. Um, I got it in a, uh, the Once Upon a Time book club, or Once Upon a Book Club, uh, Christmas box. So I will have an unboxing for you. Um, but it has a signed book plate, so that's really nice. Um, but that's the first one, I think only the, the only Christmas book that I got this year. Uh, some of the other ones I got. Joe and Lori, uh, kind of a retelling of Little Women, which I really like the new version, and Little Women has been one of my favorite, just, just favorite classics. It's just a cozy classic. Um, it's a signed copy from Barnes & Noble, so kind of excited about that. That it's by Margaret Schill and Melissa Dela Cruz. This is kind of like if Joe actually went with Lori. When I was young, I wanted Joe to go to go with Lori for the longest time, and I never really got how he could go with Amy until the new movie, and I really liked it. Um, but this kind of does a fictional depiction of that. Uh, the next one was from a lit joy crate. Uh, set the fire, set fire to the gods. Um, by Sarah Rashish and Kristen Simmons. Um, this is like a fantasy book. It's signed. I think, I like how they do the little pictures. Uh, I think this is kind of like, um, games and the gods. So it seems interesting. Another one is one I read on audio, but then I saw that Barnes & Noble had a signed copy, so I had to get it. Uh, Instant Karma by Marissa Mayer. So I have, I like getting signed books by her, so she's one of my favorite YA authors. There's that. Uh, this was a cute book. It's her first contemporary book. Um, kind of just a first contemporary romance. It's about um, a girl named uh, Prudence, and there's this boy at school that she does not like. Quint, they butt heads, and then they end up working at an animal shelter for the summer, and they end up, you know, fighting for each other. It was, it was cute, um, definitely like her Lunar Chronicle series and her retelling of Heartless the best. I think, um, if she does a retelling of another fairy tale, that would be very good. This was good, but still, I think I prefer her other more fantasy, um, books. Uh, speaking of fantasy, the last book in Sabato Here's um, uh, kind of quartet, four books, uh, Sky Beyond the Storm, An Ember in the Ashes novel. I have the other book signed, so I had to wait and try to find a place where they would sign, and, um, Barnes & Noble had it. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what happens, uh, with, uh, Marcus, Leia, Helene, so I want to see what happens in this one. The last two are kind of classic books. Um, speaking of uh, the new Little Women, 
uh, Barnes and Noble had this kind of reproduction of Little Women from the movie with um, kind of pictures, black and white pictures from the movie. Um, so I had to get it because it uh, they kind of this is kind of like the replica of the book that Joe makes. In the movie. So I like that one. And the last one, which I really, really like, uh, this is a special edition of Pride and Prejudice, another another edition of Pride and Prejudice, but all the letters that are mentioned in the book are uh, replicated. So there are um, 19 letters. So for examples, there's little pouches, and then I believe, let's see, this first one, Probably from Mr. Collins. Oh, there's several in here. There was one for Miss Elizabeth Bennett. And then Miss Bennett. So this is probably from uh, asking her to go to Netherfield Park. And then this is uh, Elizabeth saying that her sister's sick. But they're folded. And when you open them, there's uh, uh, the letters. It took very long to fold them, so I don't want to open them. But uh, they are very nice. Uh, there's the whole book of Pride and Prejudice. Um, very small print, but it's just a very nice edition with all the letters. Um, and kind of the whole thing, you can see like writing in the background. So this is from the Jane Austen Society, or the Jane Austen Center in Bath that I ordered it from. So those are the books that I got over the past couple months. Um, like I said, I've been just getting a lot of audiobooks because I don't want to get too many physical copies of books. Uh, but I had to get these signed books, especially like when they have sales at uh, Thanksgiving and stuff. So let me know which ones you liked the best, and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.